Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Today let's talk about Proton GE and GE stands for subscribe to Grown Up Gaming or Glorious Egg Roll, depending on how you want to interpret that. Glorious Egg Roll is the name of the creator. And shout out to you, Mr. Sujano, just borrowed your famous catchphrase. I really like that catchphrase, so shout out to you. Okay, so why I'm going to show you this Proton GE is because um, if you install Proton GE the traditional way, by traditional I mean you go here to the taskbar and you go to the Discover Store, you type Proton, and I think you're going to use this Proton Up QT. Okay, install. And I've already have it, so I'm just going to launch it. And you just click here, install for, you can select Steam. And then here, click add version, and you can get different versions of GE Proton. The latest one right now, as of recording, is 9.4 GE. But um, this list gets updated. So these bottom ones get replaced when new ones come out. So now you can see I can't download six something, right? The ones that I normally use because they've been kicked out. So I think a lot of people have issues with this. Um, I'm going to show you how to manually install it. Yeah, uh, some games might need a specific version of GE Proton. And yeah, you just don't have it. So for me, if you know the channel, I like to install Wiimod, this trainer. And okay, I just downloaded this installer, 8.18. This is a new one. So the funny thing about this Wiimod is, okay, the installer is right here. I'm going to add non-Steam game. I'm going to try to install it. So the funny thing about this is you can't install the installer uh, with most updated Proton. So let's say I use Proton Experimental and I run it. Uh, because most Protons are using, like, they're running as administrator. So it doesn't work. You need to run this installer as a normal user instead of administrator, which is kind of weird. I'm not sure why, but yeah, that's how it is. So that's why I need 6.21 GE2. I know that because that works. That works. So, so what happens is um, I don't have it and I can't download it from Proton up QT, right? So what you need to do is you go to your internet browser, type Glorious Egg Roll, or I'll just link it. Just go to this GitHub page, this Glorious Egg Roll page. Okay, and you can download like the version. So just go here, find release. I'm going to type 621. And yeah, Proton 621 GE2. So click Assets. And then I'm going to install this one. I'm going to get the, the this zip. So click on it. It's a 409 megabyte file. Oh, it's good. Why is my internet so slow? Three minutes to download 400 megabytes. What's going on? All right. So let me fast forward this part. Okay, so once you've done downloading this, unzip it. Let me see the structure first. Okay, it's just a folder. So I'm just going to unzip it here in my downloads folder. So unzip it. Okay, and then, okay, go to home. I'm going to locate where these like are installed. So go to your home directory. Okay, click this hamburger button, the three lines. Make sure show hidden files. This is checked. We're going to go inside a hidden folder, .steam, then steam, and then here, compatibility tools D. So this is where you put all your protons, the ones that you download. Okay, so I'm just going to drag this and move it over here. Move here. Okay, and then your steam, it doesn't reflect immediately. Okay, so if you go to compatibility, you don't have it immediately, all right? You need to restart your Steam. So make sure you do that. Go here to the Steam icon, right-click it, exit Steam. Make sure this icon is totally disappeared, closed out. Okay, now, now it's closed. Now we can open up Steam again. Okay, Steam is opening up. Go to library. Then go back to Wiimod. Click the gear icon, properties, compatibility. Now you can see we've got Proton 621GE2 here. So select it. And if I click play, I think we can install it now. I think we get that 
splash, that splash screen. It'll take some time. Yep, see here? Vmod is installing. So yeah, that's how it works. Um, it might not be for Wiimod, might be for some specific game that you're trying to play. Maybe some older games need some older versions of um, Proton GE. So yeah, I'll leave it here. I hope this was helpful. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.